Welcome back to App Terabytes. Today I wanted to talk about the solar roof option for the new 2023 Prius Prime, which was just recently released on the internet. So a few years ago, Toyota was experimenting with the idea of fitting their entire vehicle with solar panels. And so this is the Prius with panels on the hood, the roof, and the rear hatch. And they came up with these numbers here. So they were calling this vehicle the Prius PHV. And they were using solar panels, which were approximately 34% efficient. And they had estimated that this would add about 27.6 miles of electric power per day. Prior to that, they had experimented with just a solar roof, which they estimated would only add about 3.8 miles per day, but that was using much less efficient solar cells. So based on this data, if you're using solar cells that are about 34% efficient, then you only put them on the roof. And this is actually an image of the new Prius Prime with a solar roof. I would estimate that you're going to get at least 5.8 miles per day. So roughly six miles per day of solar charging. And I think that's the baseline or the lowest that you can expect to get. To get that option, you would have to give up the double sunroof option where your front passengers and your rear passengers have their own sunroof. So a little bit more of a deep dive into the Prius Prime to try to understand how this compares to the Aptera and whether it would be a good fit for different use case scenarios. And so using just a wall plug, this was for the previous version of the Toyota Prius. Overnight, you could certainly charge it to allow you to get the maximum 25 miles of electric range per day. And so you would estimate that with the new vehicle, which they are saying should get about 37 or 38 miles of electric only range, you should still be able to charge it in less than eight hours. So again, looking at prior numbers, the estimated miles per gallon for the 2022 limited version was about 54. So that's the same number you would get for all of the different 2022 Prius versions. And that's estimated with electric miles to be about 133 miles per gallon. And you can see the starting price there was about 34,550 for the highest model. And then for the 2021 Prius Prime, you were able to get about 640 total miles of driving out of a single tank of gas. And I think that's one of the pulls for getting a hybrid over an electric vehicle, especially while electric vehicle batteries are still being optimized, to be able to know that you can go 640 miles without having to fill up on gas whenever you have to take this vehicle on long trips, which is rare. And then on day-to-day -day driving, you're getting pretty much free mileage or very cheap mileage, depending on what you are able to do with the solar panels if you go with that option. So to compare some of the things between the Aptera and the Prius Prime, just to get an idea of how they are different and how they may fit you differently based on your needs and your use case scenario. So the Aptera goes from zero to 60 in 3.5 seconds. That's for the three wheel drive version. And the all wheel drive version of the Prius Prime takes about 6.6 .6 seconds. So much slower off the line. The Aptera, you're getting about 201 horsepower from the three in-wheel motors. Prius Prime, you're getting about 220 horsepower, which is actually pretty impressive for a small vehicle like the Prius Prime. And then Aptera, you only get two seats, whereas the Prius Prime, you are getting five seats. You have to wonder whether these two vehicles should be compared to each other at all. Car and Driver does estimate that the 
most expensive model of the Prius Prime next year will exceed $40,000. And I do anticipate that the solar roof package model will probably be over $40,000. So then you compare the Prius Prime to a vehicle that I've been researching a lot, which is the Kia Sorento Hybrid, not the plug-in version, but the regular hybrid version. So you've got six seats in the Kia Sorento and five seats in the Prius Prime. Total mileage would be 584 miles or so for the Sorento, and that's for the 2022 version, versus 640 plus miles with the Prius Prime. 640 was the previous total mileage, and with the added electric miles and what I believe is added efficiency to their design, I think they're going to get a good amount higher than the 640 miles of total driving range. And that's well over eight hours of continuous driving usually. And then you've got the differences in cargo. So with all the seats up, you actually have very minimal cargo with the Sorento, but then if you put the seats down, if you're not taking anyone else on your trip, you can get up to 73 cubic feet of space in the Sorento hybrid, whereas the Prius Prime, I believe with the seats up, I couldn't really find any data on the cubic feet or the cargo space with the 40-60 seat split being folded down. But I think with the seats up, you're getting about 20 cubic feet, which is actually pretty good for this type of vehicle. I just wanted to remind everyone that Toyota is investing a lot of money. This is about $5 billion on battery production in Japan and the United States. So it is possible that within the next few years, Toyota will meet some of the electric vehicle tax credit guidelines to be able to get a percentage off of your Prius Prime if you decide to buy something like that. Lastly, this is just a quick plug, no pun intended, on the j1772 to tesla charging adapter this is a 4.7 out of 5 stars rating on amazon and it's not 30 dollars off today it's about three dollars off and although you have to wonder whether this is even going to be necessary with everyone adopting the tesla plug or at least everyone having the option to adopt you have to wonder what the charging stations are going to look like in the future and whether you will really even need the adapter. But for now, this is a pretty good deal on the adapter in case that's something you might need. They don't sponsor my channel. This is just something I noticed as I was putting together this video today and I just wanted to show everyone.